Hi guys, it is a lovely moonlit night, almost full moon here in the end times in the Point Lonesome Swamp as I uh, count down my days left here hiding from the mosquitoes. So uh, I hope this battery, I'm afraid this battery is dying on me. Uh, but it is now, it is a, what the hell is it, a Wednesday night, March 16th, 2022. So anyway, guys, I am reading this excellent book called The Circle by Dave Eggers. Uh, highly recommend The Circle. It's the first of, it's the prequel to his book, The Every. And The Circle, what it... I mean, this is way oversimplifying it, but it's basically about social media. Uh, the circle is just kind of a code name for all the social media, you know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all of this social media, and how uh, Dave Eggers, uh, this hilarious, ironic satire uh, about... Uh, basically how people just completely lose their fucking mind over social media, how they get so goddamn wrapped up. It follows this poor woman uh, who just gets more and more and more uh, wrapped up in her uh, online persona that, you know, her entire life is devoted to getting likes to uh, her social media, not wanting to, not wanting people to talk bad about her, you know, just uh, she wants everyone to love her and all of this, and talking about how people just go completely lose their fucking minds over getting complete. One one of the many aspects is just how people let themselves get completely fucking bent out of shape by trolls. This is an oversimplification, obviously. But anyway, that's one of the points taken to the nth degree about um, how, how people could, how could normal, intelligent people let some total fucking stranger that they've never heard of in their life uh, come across their social media making some comment to get their little panties in a wad uh, and, and, and just, you know, and drive them into rages. I mean, people have, you know, this is in that people have gotten killed uh, over, you know, over trolls, basically. So anyway, I'm, I take a break reading this and I have an email from an, an alert uh, reader of the comment section. This is actually over at Collapse Chronicles, and uh, out of the blue, took me completely out of the blue, this person was uh, talking about, have you seen that comment thread with your friend Vegematic? My old buddy Vegematic up there in, uh, in Canada that, uh, that, that you need to go read the comments from Vegematic. And so I remember this, that it was, I think this morning, that I, I thought I had read and responded. So, uh, so this was Veg's comment about that Chris Hedges uh, essay I read last night on Collapse Chronicles. If you haven't heard that, you should listen to it. Anyway, so Vegematic, he <coughs> comes on uh, and says, Hedges pulls no punches in that piece. I remain stead, this is Vegematic, Hedges pulls no punches in that piece. I remain steadfast in my belief that we will be vaporized before the climate has a chance to kill us. I like it when you get political. It keeps things interesting. Although I read the article yesterday, it was nice to listen to your narration, the cockroaches shall inherit the earth. 
And my comment to Vegematic this morning was the cockroaches have already inherited the earth. They just have two legs. And uh, so I thought that was the end of it. And, uh, had, and, and didn't pay it another thought till this afternoon I got my attention. I probably never would have gone and even found this comment thread. So after my comment, some fellow named Ed T. Uh, responds, I guess responding to Vegematic, uh, more or less. You know, in that, in, in that reading I did with Chris Hedges, you know, I was pointing out how I try not to get political on Collapse Chronicles. And, you know, inside with uh, the, with the lefties or you know the Democrat Republic thing, Republican thing. I don't like to go there, and it it, it just uh, anyway. So this is Ed T. I guess talking to Vegematic. <clears throat> Sam rarely gets political because he has the sense to understand. It is a shallow show presented to draw in the herd. Discussing politics enhances the plebe's self-importance. As Anabolic Amaranth commented in, a, in a, another comment to the video, you don't have enough knowledge to offer an opinion? That doesn't stop most people. And then, uh, so, Veg, so Veg comes on and responds to Ed T. So, you are saying that I am self-important and have no knowledge worthy of an opinion? It's, th I'll file that under uninformed opinions. And uh, so, it, I'm not at all sure Ed T. was saying any of that, and Anabolic Amaranth's comment was about another video, had absolutely nothing to do with Vegematic. I'm not at all sure that Ed T.'s comment, uh, I, I don't read it as, uh, as even talking about Vegematic. Uh, but anyway, it's this, I guess it's this fellow Luke, never heard of this man, Luke, comes on. And this is addressed to Vegematic. Veg, your content and attitude may explain why you have only 838 subscribers after 10 years output. Political discussions by the average nobody are stultifying at best. And then he uh, copies and pastes Vegematic's self-description you know, his self-effacing uh, description from his YouTube channel, quoting Vegematic, I like to rant and rave, argue with libtards and other right-wing boneheads. I didn't realize, Veg, that libtards were right-wing boneheads. I don't think he meant other, but anyway. I like to argue with libtards and right-wing boneheads I believe in peace and democracy, art and music. I like to make friends on YouTube, and my videos always get at least five views. And uh, so after that comment from Luke, here's what Vegematic wrote. You are right, and thank you. Because of that comment, I am done with YouTube permanently. You can now celebrate your victory and I can go back to blissfully ignoring YouTube, which has now become boring, uncreative, and humorless. So, uh, Veg is announcing here on Collapse Chronicles that he is shutting down his channel because some fucking dude named Luke, uh, some guy, I have never heard of this dude, Luke, in my life. 
some total fucking troll. Uh, what does this troll say? Uh, your content and attitude may explain why you have only 830 sub 38 subscribers after 10 years output political discussions by the average nobody are stultifying at best. So anyway, guys, I honestly don't know, and I'm hearing, I've been, uh, you know, uh, checking in uh, with others down here, other friends of Veg, and all, all joking aside, uh, I mean, uh, I've noticed in Veg's recent videos that he seems to be losing his sense of humor, you know, kind of like Michael Rupert did, uh, you know, before he uh, had that little... Uh, encounter with that shotgun uh, out in his driveway. So, Vegematic, uh, brother, he, uh, anyway, guys, I'm hoping, let's all hope that uh, that Veg is not going to follow through with uh, his threats to pull down his YouTube channel over some whatever. And I'm thinking to myself, with with the circle in one hand and this comment and I'm thinking, my God, does art follow life or whatever? So I decided, okay, Vegematic is going to yank down his channel because he is so offended and his panties are in such a wad over those trolls that those fucking trolls have just run him off of YouTube. So I decide to go over to uh, Vegematic's channel. Took about three minutes, and this is just kind of throwing a dart. This is, so I just shared a comment thread on, uh, on uh, Collapse Chronicles. So I go over to Vegematic's channel, and it takes me about five minutes to find this uh, comment from the from this little limp dick, uh, nobody named Keith Hayes. Uh, Veg, we have the same relationship with Hambone. I have also been on the receiving end. Mitchell is at times a heartless sob indeed disagree with him and he will cancel your ass and then veg responds back i'm not too concerned about it keith i don't care what hambone thinks especially on this issue blah 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 and then keith uh not to be concerned about what he thinks is the right answer for sure and uh then uh to move through. So then, who we get to, I've mentioned this little fucker before uh, with the name. He's had several names. Uh, he goes and, and, and he changes his email, and the, the email address. This motherfucker has been trolling me. This is the single biggest troll I have ever had in my entire life, this motherfucker. I have no clue who this motherfucker is. Uh, he's changed his name about three times. I, I kick him off my channels. He changes his name. I, uh, I, uh, I ban him from all of my email addresses, and he just makes a new email address to, uh, to troll me on email. Uh, anyway, uh, this is, this is uh, his latest reincarnation named Sat12. This is absolute dripping sarcasm. Uh, if, you, if you don't under, at least Sat12 does understand irony and satire, which is the only compliment I could give him. So this is Sat talking to Keith about Sam Mitchell and him, a little tale on Vegematic's channel. Keith Hayes, you just don't get it. There is no ham bone. It is performance art. He's a nice guy named Sam Mitchell. 
just acting. It's all fake. He is just portraying a venomous old snake as a character. And you thought Hambone was a real person? Ha ha, I laugh. Sam Mitchell is a sweet guy who never has anything bad to say about anybody. Just watch Collapse Chronicles and compare them. We can plainly see when he's on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, he's doing this fictitious Hambone character. He speaks in a different accent and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, he goes on and on and on and on with this comment. And uh, so first, Keith weighs in with this long, long uh, diatribe, even longer than SAT-12s. This guy, fucking Keith Hayes, is... Keith Hayes and Sat-12 make uh, the characters in the circle seem, you know what I'm saying, j j just uh, one-dimensional. Uh, they ought to put Keith Hayes and Sat-12 uh, in, in, in this book. So Keith Hayes goes off on, the, uh, on this fucking tirade, which I'll bet, bet I do. Uh, I, this is... Uh, he winds up the first part of the diatribe. I don't go out of my way, I mean, talking to me, I guess. I don't go out of my way to intimate that someone is not a good person, as you just did. So, go fuck yourself or try to get along with me. I don't have time for anything but positive energy. In my life, go fuck yourself or try to get along with me. I don't have time for anything but positive energy. And then he posts this long fucking thing which he had emailed to me about some, uh, some, some fucking uh, diatribe. He'd gone off with uh, James Howard Kunstler where uh, this is him now talking to James Howard Kunstler uh, Kunstler, you decided in your ignorance I was phony. If the FBI ever fucks with you like they fucked with me, perhaps you will know how I feel. And it will not be phony. You know, Keith Hayes has this bizarre fucking paranoid fantasy that the fucking FBI gives a flying fuck about anything that he's ever said. Uh, talking about how the fucking FBI gives a fuck. So anyway, but this all winds up with this fellow I have never heard of, never heard of until this afternoon when I spent five minutes uh, wrapping up and looking at comments about me on Vegematic's channel. So this is Crypto Radio's response to SAT-12 uh, ironic, sar sarcastic response about me uh, completely failing to understand that Sat-12 was being ironic. Okay. Crypto Radio talking to Sat-12. You mean Alex Jones, dude. I lived in Austin and was raised in Waco. It's performance art. It's a nice guy named Sam Mitchell just acting. Wrong. You think wrong. Hence, you are wrong. Hambone is not performance art and not a nice guy named Sam Mitchell just acting. You are not even seeing reality, moron. Hambone, well, he, I don't know if it means Hambone, Little Tail, or Sam Mitchell, he is a house flipper. He was made a millionaire by people losing their homes in the last depression and Wall Street bailouts. He is a predator, a blood-sucking parasite, profiting off people made homeless. There you go. Hambone is a predator, a blood-sucking parasite, profiting off people 
made homeless, never was aware of the fucking comment till today. Let me tell you how much I give a fuck uh, that some dude named Crypto Radio who does not even understand Sat-12's level of fucking uh, irony and satire and performance art. I mean, this guy is so fucking clueless. Whoever this clueless fucking moron is, not only does not understand performance art, he, he, he doesn't even understand when the clueless fucking moron troll Sat-12 is, is being ironic. And, and this fucking little whiny little gnat, Keith Hayes, you know, and his little fucking paranoid fantasies that the fucking FBI gives a fuck about him. You know, who needs the circle? Who needs the fucking circle uh, to believe this shit? Ugh, fucking trolls. And, uh, you know, several people uh, who I have, uh, you know, kicked off my fucking channel. Uh, all sorts of comments uh, all over Vegematic's channel and Sandy's channel and everything else uh, about, uh, you know, people calling me a fascist because I ban people from my channel. It's my fucking channel. I can do whatever the fuck I want to with these fucking little ass white trolls. You know? I guess Vegematic has some fucking policy that, that he doesn't kick people off his goddamn channel because he just wants to be liked. He wants to make friends on YouTube. Fuck. F fuck this. Come on, Vegematic. Bone up, brother. They're a bunch of fucking trolls. I love that fucking little trash can. You're goddamn straight. Someone belongs in the fucking garbage, throw them in the fucking garbage. It's what it is. It's a little garbage can. Bink. Throw the motherfuckers in the garbage can. Uh, you, you know, this, this fucking, this fucking Keith Hayes this Sat-12, this crypto radio, they mean about as much to me as, as a piece of fucking garbage. Should be a fucking toilet. These, these motherfuckers mean as much to me as a fucking turd that I flush down. Well, I don't flush it down the toilet. I don't have a flush toilet. This old millionaire, this millionaire house flipper uh, shits in a five-gallon bucket. Uh, of, uh, of sawdust, uh, but, but these guys mean to me about as much a, 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 as my shit piling up in, 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 a, in a fucking bucket of sawdust. They're, they're, they're literally pieces of shit, okay? Why Vegematic, uh, you know, ready to fucking shut down his YouTube channel because some fucking piece of shit, uh, you know, you know, come on, brother. But anyway, guys, I don't know. I've been, uh, I've actually been concerned about Vegematic uh, the past few weeks, and uh, and uh, anyway. Uh, I, 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 I really hope that this bad feeling I'm getting about Vegematic, I, I hope, uh, that he gets over this little snip, but it's something deeper than this going on with, uh, with Vegematic. I don't know if it was those fucking Canadian truckers that finally sent the man over the edge, what the fuck it was, but guys... Uh, let's all, uh, send some good vibes to, uh, Vegematic, and, uh, and I really hope, uh, that this doesn't turn really ugly, and, you know, I mean, this thing with Michael Rupert was no fucking joke. You know, it's just it, Michael Rupert was sounding a lot like Vegematic 
uh, in his, you know, in his last few, uh, in his last few YouTubes, and uh, I, you know, good God. Uh, anyway, Veg, we love you, brother. Uh, take three deep breaths. Flush the fucking uh, trolls down the toilet, and uh, try to regain your sense of humor. Because if you lose your sense of humor, you have lost it all. Uh, it's the only thing I have fucking left to lose is my sick, twisted, dark sense of humor. Anyway, uh, there you go. The Circle by Dave Eggers came out, uh, I think, five years ago. And here, here we are. Anyway, I gotta go over to Netflix. My exciting evening in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the Suicide Cave. Bye, guys.